early this evening, the chaos of what happened here on Randall Road on Monday was over. And now a new chapter was beginning. Crime scene techs from the Ohio State Patrol converged on David Parker's home tonight. They were finding round after round and documenting what more than 100 rounds of military-grade bullets can do to a neighborhood. There were slugs in trees, in the yard. Even the fire hose was shot to pieces. The fire hose helped to end this by flooding him out of his basement and forcing him upstairs out of his bunker. Through last night and into this morning, he would open fire on SWAT members who came near the house. The city law director said at least three, if not four, SWAT members had bullets miss them by inches. Nearly 20 rounds hit SWAT assault vehicles, with the Columbus SWAT truck taking the most hits, even having rounds pierce the walls. A round went through a bulletproof shield. But I don't think that the average person realizes how much courage it takes to be a law enforcement officer in this day and world. Uh, the world has lost its sense of, of stability. What are our rules of engagement? If you see the suspect, he has a weapon. Take a shot. At 10.56 this morning, Parker showed himself at the front of the home to fire off three more shots. A well-placed highway patrol sniper got off one shot. Parker was hit. He would be pronounced dead within a few hours. One of the longest and potentially most violent standoffs Mansfield can ever remember was over. Uh, I talked with the uh, State Patrol SWAT team. They've never, this is the longest standoff they've ever been involved in. Something so potentially violent that started when a gas company employee stopped to do a routine maintenance check and was greeted with an assault rifle. It's going to take a long time to figure out exactly what happened and have a final report on the events on Randall Road. But it ended with more than 100 shots being fired at SWAT officers. And in the end, one man was dead. In Mansfield, I'm Mike Bowersock, NBC4.